Hi, this is John Lundquist again. Um, we're this is from Paladin Academy. This is lesson 2 2 intermediate algebra subtracting fractions. And today we're, we're just um, instead of adding fractions, we're going to subtract fractions. And I have you notice I have two circles here. And I divided the circles into 12 uh, equal parts because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, when it, well I'm going to take one third minus one fourth and see what I get. Well, remember one third if I take a third, this would be this one, this one, and this one, and that one. Because if I let's say I fill this, 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 and this, that would be that would be four, that would be a third, this would be a third, and then I say I take this one, this would be a third. And so uh, this would be one third, uh, something like that. Um, so I'll erase this here. And this would be one third. This pink would be a third. And if I took a fourth, what you know, a fourth would be like this one, this one, and that one. That would be a fourth because you know this this would be a fourth, and you know this would be a fourth here, and uh, maybe this one. This this and this is fourth. So this is a fourth, and it, and, and notice that a third is the same as four, and these are you know these are twelfths. This is this is a twelfth. One one of these here. Whoops. One of these here is a twelfth. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. And same here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And notice that a, f a third is made up of four twelfths. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four twelfths make up a third. And a fourth is made up of three twelfths. So I could say then that I can now whoops this is this oops I made a mistake here. This should be twelfths. This should be twelve. Notice that I made an equivalent fraction I made this one third an equivalent fraction of four twelfths. There's no difference between this one third and this four twelfths. I just this if I made this really dark here this right here is a third right there and a third because I'm really I'm really make something like that that's a third and this is really a fourth. Notice that this is the same as if I if I drew a circle, the circle, and then I you know this is a fourth. This is a fourth here. You know, four things, right? This whoops. The same. These are the same. This part here is the same as this part. This this uh, brown would be the same as that. These are the same, but this is just uh, now I've re I've changed this in the twelfths, three three twelfths. This three twelfths here, and so now I can say, well, what what is what is this four twelfths minus three twelfths? Well, I've just Basically, taking the three twelfths here, and I could say I've, I've eliminated. Whoops, 
eliminated that one, this one, and this one. And I got this one twelfth left. So I have I have one twelfth. Well, how do you do it? How do you do that with without doing all the the circles and the colors and the numbers and all that stuff? So what you do is you find a common do not you find a common number that you can divide a third into evenly, you know, and a fourth into evenly. Well, it turns out to be twelve. And so the way I the way we do it, notice that if I just multiply this three by four, I get twelve on the bottom. And then if I multiply and I have to multiply the top because I want to multiply this by one. This four times this one and this four times this three, that will give me four twelfths. That's how I got that's how I make an equivalent fraction out of this one third. I multiply the top number and the bottom number by the same number because this is four remember four over four is one. Four over four is the same as one. And then this I multiply by three because three times four is twelve. And I have to multiply the top number because I don't want to change this. I want to multiply by one. I want to multiply this guy by one. Three over three is one. Three times one is three. Three times four is twelve. So now that I have four twelfths minus three twelfths, I have now I can now just, just you know I can I can also add this as a negative. Three plus or minus one. I mean minus four plus or minus three is one. And I get twelve. So let's just do another problem to end it here, and I'll just without all the circles and all that stuff. So let's just say I have um oh I don't know. Let's say um let's say I have um, let's just make it, uh, let's say, 10 twelfths minus one third. Well, notice that I, the, I can make the three into a twelve. I can, this three, if I multiply it by four, I can make that a twelve. So I don't need to change this 12 into anything else. I don't need to, I can, I have a common number underneath that works by just multiplying this 4 times this 3. I don't need to, I don't need to find some number, I don't need to make this 12 a different number because I can, because if I, I know that, uh, that 12 is a multiple of 3. Since 12 is a multiple of 3, 12 is a good number to use on the bottom, a good 12, common denominator. So all I have to do then is multiply this by 4 and the top by, the top by 4 and the bottom by 4. So I get 10 twelfths minus 4 times 1 is 4, 3 times 4 is 12, and then I get 10 minus 4 is 6 twelfths. And 6 twelfths, you notice 6 twelfths right here is the same as a half. That's the same as a half. I can reduce that to a half. Another way of thinking about it is I can if I I can divide the top number by six and I can divide the bottom number by six. Because six goes into six one time and six goes into twelve twice. So I can I can reduce we call this reducing. I can reduce six twelfths into a half. Um, so that should I'm gonna end that. This is gonna be this is subtracting fractions. So you should be able to do the worksheet two point two using this um, this process that I just explained. Uh, good luck. Bye.